Hi there, it's Tom Cullen. It's November, and this month we're on the go, and the topic is balance. Oh. Not exactly, Don. While I feel that personal balance in managing your energy is critically important to maintaining a positive, high-performing team culture, we're here to talk about the development of our one-team balance scorecard for global operations. Hey, Paul, people are probably wondering why we need a balance scorecard. There are lots of reasons, Tom. The one-team balance scorecard will align directly to our strategic priorities and translate them into a coherent set of performance measures designed to motivate breakthrough improvements that will impact our commitment to quality, productivity, our enterprise-wide strategic imperatives, and perhaps most importantly, our culture. Wow, think about how valuable it'll be to have a tool that provides a strategic look into our most critical business metrics. Having visibility like that will have a dramatic impact on the way we lead. I think it's important to remember that this is more than traditional measurement. It is designed to be a strategic performance management system that's going to help us do three things. The One Team Balance Scorecard will help us set our strategic goals. It will help us develop action plans that will deliver on those strategic goals. And it will identify KPIs that will help us monitor the delivery of, you guessed it, our strategic goals. Our balance scorecard will identify four different perspectives. Across each one, we will define goals, develop action plans, and KPIs. Let's talk about each of these perspectives. The first perspective is quality. We have to define how each function can contribute to our culture of quality. Because driving a disciplined approach to excellence is required to operate in our industry. And it's this perspective that will get us focused on what matters most to living up to our standards. Our second perspective is productivity. This is how we'll define what matters most when it comes to how each of our functions and roles impact the organization. The third perspective is all about our enterprise reflecting the organizational priorities where our global operations contributions are vital when it comes to reaching dual strategic imperatives. The fourth perspective is culture. Organizational health is dependent on the environment that we create to encourage learning and the growth of our people. Fostering an environment where we actively tear down silos and drive inspiration, collaboration, and engagement as a unified team, as one team. It is absolutely critical that there's a relationship between these perspectives. The cause and effect relationship is extremely important. The cause and effect is exactly right, Brad. We need to drive a unified culture where we're supporting a focus on quality at every part of our operations. And that enables the enterprise and performance for the entire organization. I told you it was simple to understand. It's a little more challenging to build, but we have a team that's ready for this challenge because we all know how important this is for us. Okay, we have our four perspectives for how we're going to look at the business, and we understand the cause and effect that each perspective has on the other. So now it's time to identify the strategic goals for each perspective and develop meaningful action plans. Then we'll capture the metrics and we'll track the progress. I want to thank the team for all of this great work, and please remember that balance isn't something you find, it's something you create. I'm Tom Cullen, and we're on the go.